Trey, just uh, thoughts on getting that close and, and the hurt of, of not getting over the top. <clears throat> it, def- it, it hurts a lot. Um, just just to get to national championship game, just to play f- play for the national championship, it, it hurts so much. A lot of people didn't expect us to even get this far. You know, a lot of people didn't expect us to even get past the, the second round. And, um, you know, we, we fought. We, we fought all the way up to this point. But like Coach Beeline said, Louisville was the, was the better team today. And, you know, they was deserving of the win. For the next question, we'll go to the left. Ryan Kassop, WCBN Radio Ann Arbor. Congratulations on the great season. But I don't know if you guys knew or not, but the Fab Five were in attendance, including Chris Weber. This is for any of the student athletes. If you could just talk about the significance of them being in attendance, if it meant anything to you. Tim, can you answer that question first? Yeah, I mean, it meant, it meant a lot. Um, you know, it feels great when you have, you know, alumni come back that played played in this program before and, you know, really show you some love. And, um, you know, it was great just for them to be in the stands to support us. You know, sad enough we didn't get the job done, but, you know, we're happy that they were there. Spike, can you answer that question as well? Yeah, I mean, just going off what Tim said, uh, you know, that means a lot to us. I mean, we appreciate in the Fab Five, I mean, not only them, just all of our fans and all the support we've had throughout the season. Um, they've been great. For the next question, we're going to go to the right. Um, for Trey, and you guys have been on both ends of so many comebacks in the last couple of minutes of games. There couldn't have been any moment where you thought it was going to end until right at, at the very end, was there? Yeah, yeah you're, you're absolutely right. Um, you know, we fought all the way to we fought for 40 minutes. You know, it was never a point of time where we, you know, where we gave up. Um, Louisville was just a really solid team at the end of the game. Um, I felt like, you know, we could have turned them over a couple more times, but they they took care of the ball and um, you know, they hit foul shots. Like I said, they they were the better team today. We're going to stay on the aisle. Please remember your name and media outlet. Uh, Kyle Mikey, MLive.com. Spike, you had a. A memorable tournament, uh, 17 points there in the first half, and obviously it didn't end the way you wanted it to end. Can you just talk about the, the juxtaposition of emotion that you're feeling? And Trey, just talk a little bit about watching Spike do what he did in the first half when you were in foul trouble. Spike first. Um, you know, obviously we're all, you know, very disappointed in, in the loss, um, you know, but we, we battled the whole time. Um, and, you know, that doesn't take away from, from all the success we've had all season and just the hard work we've put in. Um, you know, I I wanted it so bad, and I know these guys did too, coaches. And you know, we wanted it for our seniors especially, because um, they they've just been great and they've been great leaders for us all. Um, but Louisville was the better team today. And Trey on Spike's performance. Yeah, uh, if it's a point guard that you know I want to play with coming off the bench, it's Spike Albright. You know, he he's a guy that's going to come in each and every each and every game is going to give you 110 um, effort. And he's going to make plays for you. You know, he may not win the look test, but he's going to definitely make plays for this team. And um, he has a bright future ahead of him. You know, he, I know, you know, I wasn't really surprised by his performance today. We, we see him do things and practice a lot. Um, unfortunately, you know, we, we couldn't get it done today as a team. For the next question, we're going to go way to the left, Pete. Uh, Trey, Pete Thamel from Sports Illustrated. I'm wondering if you could walk uh, us through the, the block on Siva that they call the foul on and just how that play unfolded from your perspective and your thoughts on the call. Um, well, he, well, I, I didn't know he was – I didn't know they was passing him the ball. Once I turned my head and turned back, I seen that he had the ball in open court. And, you know, I tried to time it up, and I knew he was going to try to dunk. And, um, you know, the ref – I guess the ref thought it was a foul. You know, I felt like I thought I had all ball and um, timed it up pretty good, but – you know, unfortunately, you know, it didn't go that way. You know, they called the foul. Uh, well, it was a lot. You know, I think that was one of the turning points. It was a lot of turning points to this game. Um, it definitely could have gave us some momentum. You know, if they went, if it would have been a no call, we would have got possession. But, hey, you know, we, we can't go back on that now. It, it was, you know, it was a foul. And, um, you know, Louisville desired it. Next question down in the front to the right. Rick Houston, NCAA.com, uh, for all three guys. The thing that seems to have come through loud and clear this week is the respect that you guys have for Coach Beeline. Uh, talk about that a little bit, if you could. Trey, first. <clears throat> um, you know, you know it, it, the respect I have for Coach Beeline is at all, is, is at all time high, and it will always be. Um, you know, throughout my college career, throughout, you know, whatever my opportunities are after college, 
you know, he, he's just a, he, he's just a guy that 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 you would respect not only on the court but off the court. You know, he's a guy that's going that's going to hold you accountable for all of your actions, and, um, and he's going to help you grow up as a, as a man. Um, you know, when I first came in here. Um, you know, I didn't understand some of his philosophies, you know, when I would get in trouble off the, off the court or, you know, do certain things and, you know, he would run me and things like that. <clears throat> but, you know, I, I finally started to realize, you know, what, you know, what his purpose was for that. And, and it's definitely allowed me to grow up and mature. And I always respect him, you know, for the rest of my life. Tim. Really, like, Tra like Trey said, um, you know, Coach, Coach Beeline, you know, he's just a phenomenal coach. He, he really gives, he really recruits guys that, wanted to go to those big time schools and never had a chance to or never had a chance to get looked at by those big time schools and he actually just give them a chance offer them and you know not only for their talent but how good of a person they are off the court he he does a great job of just preparing his his team and his guys on um, not only what's going to happen on the court but in life and you know we all thank him for that and you know i mean that's what makes him such a great coach Spike, same question. <clears throat> yeah. Um, no, Co Coach Beeline, he's a he's a great coach. He uh, he works harder than anyone I've ever seen um, to get you ready for games, to prepare you, um, whether it's it's film or or scouting report, any of that. But the reason, I mean, why I respect Coach Beeline so much is he's he's an even better person, and uh, that says a lot about him. Next question is toward the front center. Noah Kozlov, Cinesport. Spike, have you ever felt so high and so low in in one game ever before in your life? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we were rolling there in the first half, but then Louisville kind of went on a good run. Um, but, you know, we were still up one, and, you know, the player of the year played five minutes, so I felt, going into the second half, we still felt really good. Um, just unfortunately, we fell a little bit short. Next question is toward the back right. Dan? Walken, USA Today Sports. Uh, Trey, when you had four fouls in the last minute, um, did you think about giving the fifth foul to save some time, or, or were you instructed to uh, to not foul? Well, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure the coaching staff would, would prefer me not to foul with a minute left. Um, you know, so I tried to just force my man into a, to the next defender, and, and that's what I did. You know, I allowed, you know, Karis LeVert or, you know, whoever was right there to foul. You know, my teammates, we were all in sync, and we were all on the same page. They knew I had four fouls, so... Um, you know, we, we tried to get steals first. You know, we didn't want to just foul right away. We tried to, you know, turn Louisville over, um, but they did a good job of not, you know, turning the ball over and knocking down free throws. Questions for our <laughs> student athletes. The next one's on the left on the aisle. Uh, Trey, hey, this is Mark James from CBS Radio, WFNZ 610, the fan Charlotte. I know it's uh, been a great year, National Player of the Year, great performance tonight. Um, if you had to lean, obviously you're going to be a, a projected to be a top five pick in June's NBA draft. Right now, do you foresee yourself coming back or foregoing your eligibility? Uh, honestly, uh, honestly, you know, I'm not thinking about it right now. You know, this game hurts so much. You know, that's something that, you know, I just talk over, talk over with my coaching staff, my parents early over the next couple of weeks, and you know, I'll make a decision from there. But you know, thanks for being interested. I'm, I'm just not, it's not on my mind right now, really. Next question is toward the front left, Greg. Spike, hi, uh, Greg Doyle from CBSSports.com. <laughs> Um, what would you say got into you there in the first half? I mean, you weren't just hot, but you were, I mean, you were, well, we all saw what you did. That was nuts. What, what got into you and how are you feeling? How have you ever, when's the last time you felt that good? Um, I don't know. That was honestly, that was probably back to high school days. Um, you know, Trey with two fouls, um, coach Beeline doesn't play guys with two fouls in the first half. So I knew I was in the rest of the half. Um, and I was just, um, you know, fortunately hitting shots. Teammates were finding me, um, I mean, that's about it. <laughs> for the final question for the Michigan student athletes, we're going to go to the right on the aisle. Uh, Rick Morrissey from the uh, Chicago Sun Times. Spike, over here. Were you surprised? Uh, I mean, a year ago you were, I think, in prep school and not very highly recruited. Uh, surprised to find yourself not just in the situation in the championship game, but playing so well in the first half? Um, you know, first off, I'd just like to say thanks to Coach Beeline for giving me this opportunity. You know, a year ago, I didn't, didn't have anyone looking at me, and he, he took a chance on me. Um, it's something I'll never forget. Um, but when he, he recruited me, you know, he told me, when he was recruiting me, he said, we're, we're here to win championships. So I wasn't surprised at all that we got here. Um, that's been the goal since day one. And then uh, as far as my performance, just when I go out there, I'm confident. So um, that's about it.